Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're at beautiful Sanctuary Ridge Golf Club in Claremont, Florida, and I'm going to show you how to hit a flop shot. What an extremely fun shot to hit when you know how to execute it. So my goal today in this video is to teach you how to properly set up and swing so you can have some success when you get on the golf course. You will need to practice this on the practice facility to get some confidence in hitting it but it's a lot of fun to practice. So let me go ahead and go over those points of emphasis for setup and how to swing it. All right, so first of all, when we get around the green, we gotta make sure what kind of lie is it? You know, is it sitting up? Is it sitting down? Is it a tight lie? Well, today we're gonna to talk about when it's a tight lie. There's not much grass. It's very, very, not, hardly anything underneath. Well, the setup's gonna be different from that than the other flop shots. So I wanna make sure you understand that because today I'm gonna to hit it with the leading edge coming into it when it's a tight lie, not the bounce of the club. So that's worth noting so you understand that the leading edge is gonna be hitting it, not, not the bounce back here. So when we set up, we're gonna to have to make sure we open up that club face. I've got a 58 degree, you could use a 60, 64, even a 56, but I got 12 degrees of bounce. But we wanna make sure we open up the club face first, then take our grip, and then we're gonna get our feet about shoulder width apart ball position is going to be inside the front foot and we're going to put about 75 to 80 percent of our weight on our left side okay that's very important the handle of the club is going to be ahead of the club face so that's going to help us with hitting with the leading edge and pick it and make it go up in the air okay so you can see I have rods down here so this one's going parallel like a normal stance we're going to be aiming open or to the left because you know, we got the face open and we have to adjust for that alignment, okay? The one here, the rod behind the ball, that's going to be our swing path back, okay? So we're going to mainly be swinging with our foot path when we go back and then through, okay? So knees are going to need to stay still, keep them more flexed than normal in a normal setup. And then when we come through it, we want to keep the arms moving and keep that weight on the front foot. The tendency, and I fight it too, is when I hit the shot is not to try to lean back and help it. That's not good. You want to make, make sure you keep that weight on that left foot. It's all arms, a lot of arm speed, and you keep the arms moving. If you fall back, what's going to happen is your arms are going to stop. You're going to flip and scoop it. So, all right, let's give it a whirl, see if I can hit this shot. Okay, get my setup points going here. Weights forward. Okay, I'll take that all day. You see, I kept my left knee flexed. Everything's going that way. My arms kind of pull my chest through it. So I hit the ball first and divot. And you can see it was very aggressive. But the main thing is keep that, that weight on that left foot on this shot. Hands forward and not lean back, okay? Those are huge points of emphasis. So you're going to need to practice this. It's not an easy shot. It takes a lot of confidence, but it's a whole lot of fun to practice this shot because the ball just goes straight up in the air and you can play around with manipulating the club face how open you make it or not open and see what it does to how far you hit it and the height you hit it so for more great videos and blogs please check out barnhillgolf.com